the Saturday wrap for the first autumn Saturday of 2024, Saturday the 7th. Um, we are meteorologically speaking about autumn, um, not at the equinox, because, well, let's be quite honest before i start i have a feeling that autumn was well into uh, august as well at least 10 days sorry um this is the saturday wrap saturday wrap 07 09 24 i look back on my week me moaning on about things practically everything to be perfectly honest Starting off with the word or phrase of the week, and you can probably guess it because it started on Sunday the 1st, autumn. Or if you're in America, the fall. And yeah, it's already cooler, it's already wetter, and surprisingly, there are lots of leaves around. Normally, I would say beginning of September back to school and full of blackberries, but they seem to be out at the end of July. Although you can still find one or two. But boy, and if I think you look back a year, you will find me saying similar sorts of things as well. Anyway, app of the week. Um, This was free in the Mac App Store. I don't know if it is still free and it's an early version. Um, but if you like something just to write something down quickly, like sort of like a notepad or a post-it, but not a post-it and will support Markdown. I love Markdown. Uh, then it's Scratchpad. Yeah, um, apparently they're going to charge for it. I saw it when it was very early. I think that was Tuesday and it was free then. So if you have a Mac and you want something that's really nice and easy and hot cable and then scratch pad the thing of the week i had never heard of this before but it seems to be a thing manifesting apparently dua lipa um got to glastonbury by manifesting and uh, i listened to a bbc business daily about it it took ages to find out what actually manifesting was but I think it's sort of like the power of positive thinking and having a goal and doing everything you can get to that goal. And apparently there are lots of people who are making lots of money out of it by being manifesting tutors, stroke influencers. Uh, if you want something, you got to have a good idea. you got to be committed. you got to go after it. You've got to put up with the ups and the downs. That's not a manifest in any way. It's just a term for what you have to do anyway. So, the song of the week. Well, this comes from 1977, and then it got resurrected for me on the Daily Source Code, a podcast that's long gone by Adam Curry, the podfather. And it's The Babies, Isn't It Time, from an album called Broken Heart. I'm of an age now where I think, we just can't write classic pop songs anymore. Uh, there's so much auto-tuning for a start. Even Ozzy Osbourne. Um, but The Babies, Isn't It Time? A classic pop song. There you go. Anyway, my week, Saturday. Uh, had the renewal for the insurance. I think I mentioned this last week. I had a pre-warning thing saying it's going up because everything is expensive nowadays. And look out, it's going to be expensive. I did manage to bring it down. Um, I think probably knocked off about 50 quid. Yeah, went on Money Supermarket first and got a quote from someone who was similar. And that helps. And also Saturday, well, I'm going to call it a DDoS, um, but Oasis, distributed denial of service attack. Not really, it's just so many people and then surge pricing. And now everyone's gone crazy and there's extra dates. And well, of course, Oasis are making money out of it. There you go. And I mowed the lawn on Saturday with a bit of strimming first. I can never get strimmers to work properly. They don't feed. You have to stop them and then pull out a bit more and then start again. And it was always that way. Sunday, officially autumn. And 
the start of well i i contribute to a hospital in america called saint jude's now you might say well you're not in america why you can't um because it helps people from all around the world it's a child's cancer hospital and if your child goes there from say the uk or whatever they'll fly you out they'll fly your parents out they'll look after you while you were there um and if you watch any of the relay fm podcasts or listen to them more correctly or watch them as well uh they're big into them and that's how i got into it um they do a really good job they do a really good job for anyone so that's my i'm trying to be a bit good um monday um it might have been autumn but it seemed more like february and so did thursday and so did friday and thursday and friday a yellow rain alert lovely exactly okay um monday also my tomatoes green and green and green and green and they slightly turned orange and on tuesday had a couple and on thursday had a couple uh, i brought some in now and i'm hoping that they will turn red over the weekend the trick is of course to put a banana next to them or banana skin because they give off acetylene and they help them redden up uh, there you go tuesday well, those contact lenses i had that were monthlies uh the third one in a row this one it's sort of a bit of the corner just collapsed off so i am officially daily contact lens wearing person and they're great they really are great um, more expensive though but you win some you lose some you don't need to clean them you can just throw them away <sighs> yeah mind you always used to wear daily contacts when i went away so it's not that biggie to be perfectly honest uh also on tuesday the play store on android now downloads of multiple updates at the same time and installs them at the same time that's taken ages whereas apple does three at a time ah uh, wednesday morning looking in the sky in the morning which is dark orion i don't know how long it's been there but that's another big sign of autumn and it's my favorite constellation as well also wednesday android updates for the pixel for september aosp version 15 is now out uh, probably in about a month's time uh, android 15 for the pixels will be there <laughs> thursday rain yellow rain warning leaking inside the tumble friday morning well in about a year's time i'll be looking to migrate off my current desktop because uh, it doesn't support the secure, uh, secure enclave so i can't go to windows 11 windows 10 goes out to support i'm going over to the mac i'm just be moving emails around um because at the moment i use thunderbird i'm gonna use mac mail when i get that mac and um yeah early planning and i need to create a list of what to install when and how and i'm been getting some great ideas anyway that was my week and i've overrun again um thank you very much for watching comments are welcome i wonder if wordpress will allow me to actually embed the video this week instead of just having a link we shall see thank you for watching um bye bye